Hello, Craig Birch here, seconds out, new British middleweight champion. Jason Wellborn beat Tommy Langford on a split, on points. What a fight, what an experience, what a feeling, I guess. Yeah, it was great. It was, um, I thought he was going a bit earlier and then I went for him, but I don't want to burn out. I could tell I was getting to him, I thought the championship's around, but he got a bit confident, letting his shots, but I was comfortable with him. I was comfortable with the work rate and I was, re I was ready for uh, 12 hard rounds and I, he was there, but... The punch, like his face, was a lot much like I ate him and looked at mine, but I've seen his face. And the, yeah, he uh, walked past me in the lobby earlier. After you know, the he's had, an odd, round, night, he's had yeah. an odd night, and he's yeah. even my jab was catching him, and that's surprising mm. being a shorter lad. But I step into the side, banging the jab in, and his head was going back. And uh, at the end of the day, I've, however I won, if I'd have stopped him earlier on, I probably could have done if I put the pressure it was giving. Force, force, force. Sometimes he's back, but I just had a go and he wore out in me. He looked a bit busy, but uh, I've got the win. However way I've done it, uh, I've got the win and he was hurt. <laughs> he was hurt. He was, he was. I mean, let's just talk through, I mean, the evening, really. I mean, you, you sat next to me earlier, you said, I've got to get in his face. I've, I can't let him box, which he didn't. Mm -hmm. The second round, he's you, you're unloading in the ropes, mm -hmm. standing counts. What did you make of that? Because really, you could have been left to unload and maybe finish the job there and then, second round, two rounds in. Yeah, I, I was, he was like glue, and then he started leading on me. But I thought, I don't want to use my energy and more with him. I just let him, let him there. Though. Got a bit frustrated. I come round, try and duck me. I catch his chin in my top of my head. Terry had a word, and I just thought, chill, pick my shots. I not, I think I was boxing pretty well on the inside. I cut in the ring off nice. I done everything to win. That's how you got to beat Tommy Langford, and with my style cutting off and my strength it's just got even stronger now on middleweight this is my weight and this is where I'm going to progress yeah he did come back into it from there he had a few rounds where he started to box you through no end of punches I mean he's, he's, yeah. he couldn't argue with his work yeah. rates and then uh, there was a spell did you feel tired maybe yourself towards you know seven eight there was a lot of energy expended from both fighters going into those later it rounds was just he was picking up a bump and then coming in and that's what he was doing I thought carry on because a couple of more rounds I'm just going to be on it yeah because the, the shots were hurt to me. He was looking for the body shots. So I was bouncing off me. You know, my, my belly's got its condition, so my camp was there. So everything was in the back. But when you're going back to that corner, they were saying, you ain't doing enough, you ain't doing enough. But I knew when I catched him, and he hit him with one shot, he was his legs was giving. Then he was ducking and holding me. So in there as a fighter, you know how they're feeling. And uh, he, di he didn't want to be in there tonight. He was trying to box me, just trying to land the body shot, I think, at the after the six round, but I took him out his game plan. When did you feel like, I'm, I'm definitely going to win this fight? Was it? I think, I think in the eighth, ninth, and then coming into the tenth, and then the eleventh, it was just like, he was hitting me, there was nothing in him, and I was just banging him, and he's like ducking and falling and spinning, and I was just skimming him, because he's tall, he'd give back, I was skimming him, and then he was going, and then, but I, he stood there with me the last round and tried to trade, and it was a matter of time, and uh, but he stood there, he went the distance, he was fit, I, Congratulations to him, but I'm the champion. I'll call the shots, and I'm going to move on. I think I'm myself now. Yes, of course. I mean that 12th round as well. That could have been a 10 eight round because he was absolutely all over the place towards the end, wasn't he? You know, yeah. fair place to Tom for hanging in there. But maybe if it had been an earlier round, you might have had him out of there in that 12th yeah. as well. Could have been the gun in the second, like, but obviously he hung on, and I let him get his breath back a little bit. But um, I don't want to blow out. I was thinking, I don't. It's a 12 round fight. I don't want to blow out. And if I go all out and I don't catch him, you know what I mean? It's just one of them. So. My experience showed as well tonight. Yeah, yeah, you went to the cards. Did you yeah. always know it was yours on points? Yeah, I was confident. Tell. After that round, I was confident. Just the, not being funny, you look at his face and you look after the second round. Oh, I day wobble. I think the eighth round, he caught me in the back of the ear. He kept whacking me the back of my ear when uh, on the clinch. And I thought, right. As soon as I took that away from him again, the taller people. Marcus Morrison was doing that with me, looping round the ears. But um, I just worked him. I hit him harder then and thought, you ain't doing that, mate. And when he want, if he wants to stand there and fight me, it was the wrong fight. Of course, of course. Obviously, split decision. Always nervous on a split, isn't it? When mm. when those words came out of uh, Ben the MC's mouth and the new. Yeah. Ever had a feeling like that, Jace? At all? <laughs> it, it's it's a dream come true. It, it's been a long, hard years of boxing work put in. And, uh, yeah. What did we work out? You were at a 12, 10, 11, 12, 12, 12 year, four maybe year, 12 year. Four program. years out, because obviously the programme and UAE earning. It was 2000, 2005, wasn't it? Yeah, against, so. against Jane Amber, wasn't it? Yeah, so. middleweight. So. Yeah, yeah. Funny, well, I think it's to develop, isn't it? Yeah. I, had, I, had the right, um, I had the right people at the back on me, but um, 
it's been frustrating Christmas time we was going to jack it in after winning the WBC and no one done nothing with me I've gone back to BCB my sponsors my friends have got involved we've got this show on fair play Tommy he took the fight he was more than confident he was looking past me I'm going to box his head off he's going to do this he's going to do that and I was like mate I've been in with a lot more people mackling I've had wars and I can I can fight and that's coming off he managed me for 12 months and he said you can dog fight with Marcus Morris and hurt him these are prospects and ticket sellers they've been looked after they've won vacant belts I've took all my belts I've took off champions you know what I mean so it's up to me oh, I could do some easy fights now you know what I mean then. Yeah. but I'll fight anyone at the end of the day it's business now of I've got some more people on so I'm going to sit back I'm going to enjoy the wedding probably have a week yeah yep, yep. and right, a good lady next week as June well. I'll be back in June I'm aiming to get back in the gym just ticking over might be out before the summer so before the end of the year like you know what I mean okay so, is there a rematch clause uh, that you I know think of there's a rematch in the contract like so we'll sit down with my sponsors and my management herald so we'll see, we'll, we'll see like I mean if he wants a rematch you can have a rematch you know what I mean okie dokie okie dokie and uh, a little backstory as well I remember getting summoned to a social club in Greek Green West Bromwich this was what even a year ago was it when you wanted to talk about Tommy Langford did you think did you know this was going to come about I mean obviously you put it out there yeah, well I won, that, it, I won the WBC and obviously you know you said I'll drink with all the West Brom like you in Langford you in Langford well, no, that's when the Battle of the Baggies thing first started I still say yeah. I started it but, and I said oh, I said then, <laughs> he's, he's got the belt but obviously he's with Frank Warren and that try and get he says he never sees you at the football. Is it because he sits in the box seats and you're in with it? Well, he's in the fan zone and stuff. Like that. I don't get a chance to go up now. You know what I mean? But uh, I watch him. Mate, you're you glad of that this season. That's in all fairness. Yeah. So at the end of the day, he's more football selling tickets, and he's done a lot. He's done a lot, and they get behind him, and a lot of the boxers need that. But um, he's had good promoters. He's had the titles now, but he ain't fought no one. He's had to. He's fought a warrior tonight, and it's just showed. And. Uh, I'll do the same again. If I'm, I'm at the end of that, I'm going to get better now. I've got yeah. 12 rounds under my belt with a boxer, with a fit lad who's a, got a good engine. There probably ain't many lads at his level in Britain who's got a good engine like him. So I'll probably bet, I'll bet the best, best in Britain at middleweight. Of course. So that says it all. Yeah, yeah. So he you knows what's he going to do again, try and box me again, and I'm going to beat him again. So if we sit down and we discuss what we're going to do at the end of the day, he's given me the chance, a shot. He deserves a rematch. Of course. He deserves a rematch. Of course. And um, I'll do better next time. Okay, okay. Watch this space, I guess. One last thing as well. British champion tonight, married next week. Are you watching the big fight tomorrow? Hey, Bellew. Yeah, we're, uh, we're all going up Liverpool on my stag because that was booked, but obviously really? I really put much thought into that. I'm going to get myself off. I've had a good hard 12 rounds. Don't Re take the belt with you. Real <laughs> no, 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 stop it at home. And um, that's it now. Uh, family time now and then we'll get back in the gym and then we look at what we're going to do next ok well we want to hear the new British Champions views as well hey Bellew who's going to win tomorrow I think uh, Bellew is going to do it man. did you say Bellew would do it the first time just a bit he was injured but he couldn't put him away but I just like him and he, he was bigging me up uh, when I fought Marcus Morrison so I just even like him even more now because like, he's giving me a good now so I hope he does it I wish him all the best for yeah tomorrow. make sure we send him a tweet eh? tweet yeah, yeah, and congratulations yeah, okay excellent well Jason congratulations it's been a real pleasure what a fantastic fight we'll talk to yeah, you again thank you